Across the fence, we're going to learn about animal science at the University of Vermont, from studying elephants to a major community service event involving horses as zebras, and the opportunity to study abroad in places like New Zealand. Good afternoon, and thanks for joining us. I'm Judy Simpson. As you just saw, the UVM Animal Science Department offers its students diverse, hands-on opportunities for learning and for community service. To find out more, I'm joined by a frequent contributor to Across the Fence. It's a pleasure to welcome back animal science professor and extension specialist, Betsy Green. Welcome. Great to be here. Now, you've just finished up a great event at the UVM barn. Tell us about Horse Barn Halloween. <laughs> this event has been going on, I think, as long as I've been here. But in the last few years, it has grown immensely. This is a community service event, possibly one of UVM's largest, where the UVM horse barn opens up its doors the Monday before Halloween, and the students dress up the horses and themselves as costumes, you know, everything from um, elephants to whatever. But here, this is actually a picture showing of our victim of our own success because that's the line out the door. That's and crazy. And the next one shows inside the <laughs> number of people. And this is before they get into the costumed horses area. But the horse students are involved. There's <laughs> Greta even came as the there royal skunk. There you are. <laughs> yes, and Sky has Molly as the zebra. And Sky's actually an equus and an animal science 115. So the students were involved in from the Horse Barn Co-op, Equus, the Dressage Team, Intro to Equine, Horse Health and Disease, and I think Alpha Zeta helped us out as well. Mm -hmm. And they have all sorts of costumes, creative, very creative costumes. The students are, mm -hmm. we have flippers here, that was a great <laughs> costume. But um, the students are all allowing trick-or-treat at the stalls, and of course the parents come with their kids, it's for a small child event, mm -hmm. and they, they bring them and the grandparents, they get pictures with the horses, they of course, children love horses, so mm -hmm. it's just a wonderful thing. But as I said, a victim of its own success because my goodness, we go, go well, through You had a to lot. bus people in. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, we've had to ha start with uh, parking and transportation services and busing people from Gutterson. It's a two hour event and we ended up having to stop people from coming onto the shuttles 45 bef minutes before it was over and it took an hour to get the other folks out after it was over. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, but holy smokes. <laughs> <laughs> Mayhem. <laughs> yes, it was. So that's, um, what else has been going on with animal science? Well, animal science department has just been doing a lot of neat things. We have started things like an alpaca class. It's actually called alpaca boot camp, <laughs> and that's run during the winter break. And this past summer, we had three different classes that were offered away. We had you to the zoo, which has been going on for several years, and then a horse class, which my zoos, our zoos person taught, and then the elephant class, which I taught. Which is awesome. <laughs> uh, how did you end up leading an elephant class? Well, I'll tell you, it's connections and relationships, because I just, in fact, I just returned from the National Animal Interest Alliance meetings, which are folks that are trying to make sure that folks can, you know, the public can still uh, keep and use their animals, whether it's from pets to show or whatever. Mm -hmm. And we had, last year, we had a tour of the Center for Elephant Conservation while we were down there at that same meeting. I made a connection with Janice Area, who's the person that is the stewardship person there. Mm -hmm. And she was talking about the internships. I said, hey, why don't you have pre-vets here? And she said, well, no, that's a... One thing got to another, suddenly we, I developed a hybrid course where we had before, two weeks beforehand uh, doing online reading and work and all that, and then we went down there for eight days. I have some pictures here with me. Yeah, let's me. take a look at that. You know, this is in Florida, correct? Yeah, and so there were 10 students at small class, and there's 27 elephants on site there at that Center for Elephant Conservation. And, of course, Aww. the youngest of the bunch, that's Mike. <laughs> <laughs> and he was very cute, of course. But the students got hands-on every day. This is, they're getting the dirt and dust off the elephant at this point, preparing it for a bath. This is a 69-year-old elephant that, wow. yeah, Mysore, she was wonderful. And she kind of got a little bit, got away with things. That's <laughs> Mysore getting a bath by, with the students from the class. What an unbelievable experience. Yeah, every day, every day they did that. And 
now they're scrubbing the ears. <laughs> and the <laughs> elephants are trained to, to do that. There they're scrubbing <laughs> their little mani pedi. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so it's great. Now you talk about animal science as um, a major. Is this a popular program? It, it is, and we have a lot of pre-vet students, and a lot of those shift into other areas once they're realizing they don't necessarily want eight years of college. Mm -hmm. And so, but we have just the, the thing that we are, we're small compared to a lot of the other universities, but we have such unique opportunities that we provide that it helps keep us very pertinent. And in fact, you're looking at here, this is the intro to animal science class. And that um, right there is the all day lab at the UVM Morgan Horse Farm from my class. And I, we're doing judging there. Mm -hmm. That's the class that, um, <laughs> that we have in front of the Morgan Horse Farm. Beautiful statue, beautiful farm, of course. Mm -hmm. But they get a lab watching a castration. They get judging, handling, and breaking young foals to lead. And then also farrier work. Here they're looking at the raffle filly and getting an idea of what's being done, what the program is, breeding, and otherwise. So it's just an awesome day from this one class. And so joining us now is UVM senior Taylor Goucher, who Taylor is an animal science major. She uh, earned experience as a teaching assistant at the Morgan Horse Farm Lab. Welcome. Thank you. Why did you decide on UVM? I decided on UVM because I knew I wanted to go to vet school from the beginning. And I was searching for different schools with animal science programs. Mm -hmm. UVM kept popping up because of its great program, and it was close to home. I'm from Connecticut, so my parents really liked that. And I came up for a visit and fell in love with Burlington. Mm -hmm. And I have a couple of friends that went through the animal science program here and are now on to vet school, and they really recommended it, so it seemed like a great fit. So what did you do as a teaching assistant at the Morgan Horse Farm? I am a teaching assistant for Dr. Green, mm -hmm. and I help with lecture and lab activities and I help plan and grade assignments. And I also had the opportunity to research a topic I was interested in, which I chose equine sports medicine, and I presented a full lecture to our students on it, which was really cool because I got to see and look into more <laughs> of what I liked mm -hmm. um, and then present it to the students, which helped my presentation skills, mm -hmm. which was awesome. And so what else did you learn? Um, what else did I learn? I learned how important it is to be organized. <laughs> Along with my work, I am responsible for the work of all of our students, so there's like 20 of them, 22, and it's just pure organization and doing my work and theirs and getting it all back and just keeping things straight. And I didn't really realize how much professors have on their plate until <laughs> I stepped on the other side of this. <laughs> Yeah, you thought they had it pretty easy. Yeah. <laughs> and so were there any surprises? I was mostly surprised about how much a student can grow in four years. I took this class as a sophomore, so two years ago. And even when I was in their shoes, I kind of just learned the information to regurgitate it back on a test. It didn't really mean anything to me. And now that I'm a senior and I've noticed most of my classmates feel this way, I'm way more passionate about the material and it excites me because it's contributing to my career and my future. So it's interesting to see the gap where they can't really connect it to real life situations yet. And I know they're definitely going to soon, so I'm excited for that. But it's interesting to see the difference. Now you also had the chance to travel abroad. Where did you go? I went to New Zealand. Why New Zealand? <laughs> why New Zealand? <laughs> well, that's why not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am very focused on going to vet school, so I've been doing a lot of animal stuff, and I really just wanted something new, mm -hmm. a new experience and a new place to meet new people, and this was a great opportunity. I could take credits through UVM and get those out of the way. So. Why not? I mm -hmm. went. Um, I spent five months in the South Island of New Zealand, and I took three classes, and they were all humanity and diversity credits. I studied at the University of Otago, which is a very highly respected university in New Zealand, and these credits transferred back to UVM, which worked out great. I met a lot of great friends, and we were all in the same situation, kind of a foreign but very exciting situation. 
The city is a lot like Burlington. It's basically a small city around a university, and 10 minutes outside of it is beaches and beautiful wow, landscapes. <laughs> Sunsets are incredible. I met the best of friends who quickly became my family. We were all, again, in the foreign situation, so it made it easier to bond over things like that. Mm -hmm. New Zealand is such an amazing country. You can see the rolling hills, mountains, and ocean all in one landscape. Um, it was crazy. Tons of sheep everywhere, which, of course, I liked. And it was just beautiful. It never got old. Um, I got to do lots of things, which was crazy. Um, New Zealand <laughs> is this? filled with adventure. That's oh. where bungee jump was invented. You, so You didn't really. I had to. Oh, yeah. That's her. <laughs> That's her. No. So I bungee jumped. Oh, That's no. me flying through the air. <laughs> Did your parents know about this ahead of time? After. OK, good. <laughs> So I spent all of my spare time when I wasn't in class in the mountains, and it was crazy um, skydiving, <laughs> glacier <stumped>. climbing, <laughs> cave rappelling, whitewater rafting. It was really an incredible time. And my friends and I were in these mountains without technology, so we all learned a lot about each other mm -hmm. and got to know each other really, really well, which was cool. Well, it's a long way to go. Was it hard being that far away from home? It was pretty hard. It was mostly that I didn't have time to kind of realize it just because I was so excited and mm -hmm. overwhelmed when I got there. Just had so many opportunities in front of me, so I didn't really have time to kind of register how far away I was. I got to talk to my family a lot, so it was nice. So, Can you sum up what you learned abroad and how you think that's going to apply to your future? I learned that it is important to make things happen. My friends and I were set loose in this beautiful country with so many opportunities ahead of us, but everyone had the idea to do everything, but it was kind of just like, making it happen, making organized plans, and actually doing things. So I quickly realized that someone needed to step up and plan things so they would <laughs> happen. So I took that on, and I can say that I really made the most of my time there. It was a short five months, but I got to see and do so much, and that definitely is because I took the initiative to make things happen. Well, this is pretty impressive, Betsy. <laughs> well, yeah, and that helped prepare her also for TA. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And future life, of course, too. Mm -hmm. Is that typical of what students um, in animal sciences experience? I think so. I mean, she was talking about the growth, and you can see that in the students. And so you have to know that it's coming <laughs> when you're <laughs> dealing with some of the things where they're not valuing the info. But as it comes, often you hear when they look back on it after they get out, they look back and say, wow. We really did get a lot from all the courses that they're taking, but especially animal science and some of the neat things we do. If a student's interested in animal science, what are some of the things they should be thinking about? Well, they, of course, we actually have quite, it's, it's a pretty popular major, so if they're interested, they should apply to animal science because we have a lot of people that want to transfer in after the fact, mm -hmm. after they get here. And so think about applying and coming in, getting animal experience, because then you can just ramp up what the experience instead of starting at ground zero with here's the horse or here's the cow whatever. Mm -hmm. So you can take it to the next step if you've started and got yourself prepared. And once again you say a lot of the students don't go on to veterinary school but what are some of the other um, careers they can have? Well uh, Melissa Beckett that was on here earlier from last year was is now doing great at Smart Pack. Mm -hmm. You know, the company for nutrition or nutraceuticals and supplements and stuff. We have people in the feed industry. We have several people go on to grad school. A little bit of everything, training, riding. Of course, we don't have a training program, but we do give some of the background and skills for supporting that. Mm -hmm. So if they're good at training, we, they can learn about the rest of the business and industries around that. And how can people get more information about the UVM Animal Science Department? Well, they can certainly go to our website, which is asci.uvm.edu, or give a call to the main office and they can direct the call. It's 802-656-2071. And so coming up a little bit later on, we should make a little bit of a promo here. I think we're going to talk more about the elephants. Yeah, we'll, we'll have elephant info and also some more information on some of the unique classes that we've been offering at UVM, especially during the summer summer or winter breaks. Mm -hmm. Is that typical that students in this major will be doing some kind of classwork, some kind of schoolwork during the break time? Well, it's, it's, in our case, it's when we can get these opportunities for them. But then other students, if they're in the pre-vet, sometimes it'll be making, getting classes because they have a higher requirement 
to get the courses they need for that application to vet mm -hmm. school. All right. Well, I want to thank you both for joining me today. Thank you. Thanks. That's our program for today. I'm Judy Simpson. We'll see you again next time on Across the Fence.